Hey Aries, welcome back to the channel. I see the tarot. I'm here to do a general reading for you guys. So let's hop straight into the video. Let's see what's going on for you at this time. Let's see here. Let's give it one more good shuffle. What's going on for my Aries out there, spirit? <clears throat> I'm hearing a Chris Brown song, no air. Let's see. What's going on for my Aries? Okay. We are drinking toxic lifestyle. It's so crazy because I was literally channeling <laughs> this in my head. The fed up at the bottom of the deck. I feel like somebody is tired of living a toxic lifestyle here, Aries. I feel like you deal with a lot of um whether you're a masculine or a feminist, somebody is like tired of living a toxic lifestyle here. If you're a masculine, I feel like you deal with a lot of women here who drink a lot. Like they just they're about the nightlife, period. Wherever you wanna, you know, put it. The nightlife. You deal with a lot of women that be in the nightlife. And if you're a female masculine, I said a female masculine, what the fuck? <laughs> if you're a female Aries here, you might drink a lot. And this might turn a lot of masculines off. But it's like, I feel like you can handle your liquor here. Yeah, I'm getting different messages here for my Aries masculines and feminists. Getting different messages here. Let's get some more here. Wow, we got Divine Feminine. So, somebody, if you're a masculine here, you ready to change your lifestyle around for a Divine Feminine here. Give me some more for Aries. We got Spiritual. Chaos, Ego, Death, Downward Spiral, and Spiritual Awakening. Yeah, there's a, a Aries masculine here that's going through a Spiritual Awakening. And if you're uh, Aries feminine, you have a masculine here that's going through uh, another masculine. That could be Aries. That's going through a spiritual awakening. And they want to change their lifestyle for you here. And you got somebody fucked up in the head about you here. I'm also, this is a like, this is a masculine here who used to get in their way. They're like very spoiled. They got a lot of yes men, yes women around them. They just used to have in their way here. And I feel like. You didn't let this masculine have their way. I feel like you respected yourself more than the, uh, the women that they're used to. But like I said, they even got friends that like always say yes to them. Someone here is very charming. All right, let me clarify these right quick. I'm not going to get no more. Let me clarify these. I want to put them where y'all can see. Okay. Clarify this drinking toxic lifestyle. Someone can be afraid that somebody's going to reject them, even if they do change their lifestyle around. We got losing sleep. It was about to come out, but it didn't necessarily come out, though, so I'm going to put it back. But someone, yeah, someone's worried here that someone's going to reject them. Clarify this toxic lifestyle. Damn. Um, love child almost came out. Someone said had a love child here. Yeah, we got love, sex, reckless. Somebody had a love child here. Somebody's worried that somebody's gonna not not gonna uh take them back, or just even want to start a connection with them because they had a love child with someone due to them always drinking and living a toxic lifestyle here. I'm not gonna say this female is a karmic. But they just they don't they don't see themselves being with this uh this feminine. But they've had a love child with them due to some toxic sex here. Clarify this divine feminine. I just spit the deck on divine masculine. Oh my goodness, y'all. And we got rejected. Y'all the card just fell. Yeah, so somebody, um, this doesn't have to be your divine masculine. This doesn't, yeah, like, this doesn't have to be someone that you're meant to be with. It could be. This could just, like, just be talking about a divine masculine here. Someone that just, they have a high spiritual ranking. 
This is a, this is this doesn't have to be your twin. It doesn't have to be your soulmate or anything. But someone here see how divine you are. They see you as a match. Okay, they just see you as a match. Clarify this divine feminine. They see you as a match. Look, and this fell right on top of divine feminine. We got happily single with secret account. Somebody spying on you from a secret account here. <laughs> Doing you, dating, stress-free, setting goals, and career focus. Someone says that you're focused on your career here, that you're setting a lot of goals for yourself. They feel like you're doing very good for yourself. And they're watching you from a secret account. You could like be on some type of uh, public platform here. Yeah, I feel like you're on some type of uh, public platform here. This person's like watching you like... They feel like you're very beautiful. They're worried if you're dating here. They see you stress free, not worried about them. You don't care. You're moving on with your life. And you're just doing you, basically. So I'm feeling like you just, you know, you're not worried about them. And you're not, you know, focusing on them and focusing on yourself. It's helping them focus on themselves even more. But also helping them focus on you more. And see that, you know, they don't want to be in this type this type of lifestyle no more. And this is for if you are uh, Aries, masculine or feminine. This masculine is going through a spiritual awakening. Clarify this spiritual here. This ego death. What was that almost came out? Twin flame. Oh my God, twin flame almost came out. This could be someone's twin flame. But if it is someone's twin flame, they're not ready to be in this connection. They're going through their ego death right now. Clarify this ego death. Look at that. We got ghosted. Off and on, hot, cold, and detached. Well, I miss you at the bottom of the deck and running. Yeah, they're not ready for this connection, but they miss you. But this is a runner. Someone running from this, running from this connection here because they're not ready. They going through a downward spiral right now. This is a dark night of the soul. So this is this reading is gonna be very self-explanatory here for y'all. So I don't even have to make it that long, Aries. Let's get into the rest of the messages here for y'all. <clears throat> Clarify this uh toxic lifestyle with this. Some reckless love, sex. We got the three of swords with the queen of cups. I feel like you this queen of cups energy. Someone feel like they really broke your heart for someone here who they really don't even want to be with. They just live a certain type of lifestyle with. But they don't really want to be with this person. Who is this queen of cups? Clarify this queen. I'll just split the deck on the king of cups. Yo, Divine Feminine came out, and then I split the deck on Divine Masculine. I <laughs> don't know, y'all, but some of you, this is your twin, okay? They want to work on a connection with you with this Eight of Pentacles. I'm just saying, this is your twin, all right? If you're Aries Masculine, you know who you want to be with. Somebody about to get it. Somebody about to come in contact with a twin here. <laughs> Yo. Clarify this Queen of Cups. <laughs> Oh my God, the energy is so clear and heavy right now. We got temperance. I mean, somebody view you as a fucking earth angel. You're very healing. You're very psychic. Oh my gosh. Like, and you're so beautiful, especially on the inside. So I feel like you're a sweetheart. <laughs> they love the way that you care for them, that you care for people in general. You're someone who you really care about the environment. You care about the betterment of the people. You're very enlightened, mind, body, spirit, very deeply spiritual, and you're deeply intuitive here. Someone literally deeply loves your soul. Like they love, they love you on a soul level here. This is somebody's twin or soul, man. I'm just gonna say Aries. It is. Someone is seeing a painful truth about you and someone else that they that they're connected with here. With this three of swords. What's this three of swords? The fucking queen of swords. What'd I say? They saying a painful truth between you and somebody else that they connected with. They don't want to be with this queen of swords. Who is this queen of swords? We got the seven of wands. 
this person is trying to protect themselves from this queen of swords. Uh, she could be trying to blackmail this uh, masculine or something. Yeah, she could be trying to blackmail this masculine. Let me see here. Who is this queen of swords? Yeah, this reading ain't going to be that. Uh, we got fucked up over you, but look at the bottom of the deck here. Twin flames. Someone's ready to close out a cycle here and move toward the twin flame. Now, this list of my feminine here is fucked up over this masculine. And she's like, she's very defensive over him. And he doesn't even want to be with her. She's like, she's scared. She's worried. She's pretending like she's not. This is someone who has a, uh, who feels for this masculine very deeply. This is one of their yes men, yes women. Well, not yes men, but one of their yes women's. They don't want them to close out this cycle with them. But this divine masculine is ready to get the fuck on. They ready to go. They just they don't see a connection here no more. They feel for someone else. And it's like, it's time to just move on. She's heavily worried. Whoever this um this woman is, she's very, very worried about the next stage in their relationship. But let's clarify this uh divine feminine here with this secret accounts and happily single. We got the queen of uh, no, that's the king of wands. I don't know why I'm about to say uh the queen of wands. Let me get one more here. That's your energy, Aries. So yeah, you out here, you out here. <laughs> you out here, baby. Give me one more. I'm about to, yo, the fucking queen of wands. That's why I said the queen of wands. <laughs> Look at she was getting ready to come out. Yo, what the fuck? I spent the deck on the divine, I, divine feminine come out, and then I spent the deck on the divine masculine. Queen of cups come out, and then I spent the deck on the king of cups. The king of wands come out, and then the fucking queen of wands come out. This is a powerful twin flame connection here. Yo, like somebody is about to come in contact with that twin flame. Oh my gosh. This is so fucking beautiful. <laughs> Yo, what the fuck? Oh my gosh. Y'all. Wow. Clarify this king and queen of wands. Somebody is watching you from a secret account here. Oh, we got pregnancy DNA. I don't know. Okay, for some of you, this king and queen of wands is talking about him and someone else he's connected to. Let me see here. Clarify this queen of wands. Who is this queen of wands specifically? I don't know. We got the justice here. I don't know. I feel like this is you. I feel like this is you. I feel like you're coming out here as the queen of cups and the queen of wands. So, both of you could, like, be fire signs here. You could be an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Pray about this Queen of Wands here with this Justice. This could be you or it could be the Karmic. Divine Feminine card already came out, so. Yeah, this is you. Praying, faith, healing, meditation. This is you. This is you. Someone sees you as a, as a match here, especially on a spiritual level. Someone's, like, trying to fake a pregnancy here to keep this masculine stuck with them. They don't really don't want this masculine to move on, but they're ready to. I mean, in a sense, they're ready to. They still going through a spiritual awakening here with this uh, ego death. Yeah, so like, if you um, if you're watching this and you're Aries masculine, yeah, you going. I thought you're going through a spiritual awakening here. You're going through an ego death to get closer to your divine feminine, and it's a fire sign. I mean, it could be a water sign here too. It could be any sign to be honest, because it could be any sign. <laughs> But you know who this person is, and they're very intuitive. They're very creative. You could also be one of this person is pregnant by somebody or something, or if they single, dating someone. I feel like you need to get out of your head and contact this person. Someone here needs to just contact someone and tell them how they feel. If you're ready to, if you feel like you're not ready for that, then don't do it. But if you feel like you're ready, just contact somebody. Like get out of your head. Like stop. Coming up with assumptions, thinking what someone is and what they're not doing. Especially if you, if you deeply feel for them. You better, somebody that's going to snatch their ass up. Somebody that's going to snatch them up if you 
if you keep stalling. Yeah, let me clarify this. Uh, clarify this King of Wands here. And it fell right on top of Ego Dove. We got Fairy Tale, Phony Trickster Illusions. Hmm. Yeah, like this, uh, whether you're an Aries masculine or you're an Aries feminine, and you dealing with the uh, Aries masculine, possibly. This person was telling people a fairy tale. This person also feels like, I don't know. Give me one more for this fairy tale here. For this King of Wands. Clarify about this fairy tale. Either they was selling people a fairy tale here, or they feel like you, yeah, Queen Bee. Secure, confident, boss bitch, career focused. And once again, came out. Career focus is out here twice under this divine feminine here. They feel like you for you came from a fucking fairy tale, baby. They feel like you are a dream come true. Like where do you come from? Like you were like you you walk out of a motherfucking Disney um princess cartoon or something. <laughs> I'm telling you, bro. They love how confident you are, how secure you are in yourself, how you really put yourself first, you stand your ground, and you're not gonna be nobody's yes woman. No, you respect yourself. Even if it didn't seem like you respect yourself in the beginning dealing with this masculine, you damn sure respect yourself now. You're just not playing no games with whoever this is. And I feel like they love it. It's, it's really turning this person on, to be honest. Yeah, I'm picking up on some sexual energy. Somebody is really, really missing you sexually. <laughs> they miss you on a spiritual level too, but especially sexually. This is so fucking beautiful, y'all. Like, seriously, this is beautiful. <laughs> the, how the cards are coming out. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> there's no question about this. This is somebody's fucking divine masculine here. <laughs> okay, clarify this ghost in here with this uh spiritual awakening, ego death. Damn, the fucking star. And the hermit almost came out, but the star almost came out. I'm going to take it. <laughs> like... Oh my gosh, someone like, it's like someone needs your healing energy. Someone needs your help healing, like finding the star deep down inside within them. Divine masculine didn't come out here, but this person is a divine masculine. I feel like they're having trouble seeing something. Give me one more. Like they can't find themselves. They're having a hard time finding themselves. They're having a hard time healing. They're, they're just, they'll be okay. Like, if this is you, Divine Masculine, like, you just, you're in the beginning stages of healing right now. So, you're going to be feeling detached. You're going to feel like you need to ghost people. You're going to feel like you need to, you you do have to face your fears. You have to face those things that you've done in the past. You, you wronging people and things. Whatever you've done that was wrong, that you knew wasn't right, you have to face all of that. You have to go through an awakening here and face your demons. Everybody has demons they need to face. So, you'll be okay if you just keep doing the work. Give me one more. Just keep doing the work, babe. You'll be all right. And we got the sun, baby. You are the fucking divine masculine. Both of you guys are divine. Man, this energy is so heavy. It's so beautiful. We got the sun out here with the star, y'all. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> y'all, like, every, I'm so fucking happy for y'all. Like, someone might be going through an ego death right now, but this is your person. And it's out here heavy. Like, y'all got some type of powerful mission here. Clarify the star. Oh, my gosh. We got the high priestess. <clears throat> someone could be, um, you could be a tarot reader here. With the star and the high priestess. Very powerful intuition. Yeah, someone here could be a tarot reader. Or you want to do tarot. Yeah, someone is a, uh, is a tarot reader here. Yeah, someone feel like you're very healing. You get very good advice to people. Or you just see... If you're not a, a, a tarot reader here, or if you're not interested in doing um tarot or tarot, then you just like meant to be some type of mentor here. You like you meant to use your intuition here with this high priestess to help people heal, to help them move forward in life. 
And I feel like you're doing that because Queen B came out with this uh happily single for this divine feminine, and they both have career focus on the bottom of them. They both have career focus, so you're definitely focused heavily on your career right now. And it's really turning this masculine on. They love how you're taking care of yourself. It's like, <laughs> y'all. <laughs> Y'all also in love this energy right now. Clarify the sun. <laughs> you got the food. Somebody's about to take a big ass leap of faith and go towards their happiness here. They doing it. They about to take the biggest risk they ever took in their goddamn life. But it's about to make them so happy. It's about to make them feel so free. You get somebody such a free spirit like... like Yes, I can take on the fucking world if I want to. Can't nobody tell me anything. I can do what I want to do, be who I want to be. I mean, do how, do what you want to do in the most high vibrational way. Someone here is, but it's a literally about to release their inner kid. Yeah, someone like that can that can be like a big free ass kid around you. You're very happy. You have some. You have a very childlike spirit here as well. <laughs> You don't really too much care what people say about you, what they think about you, and you're able to still be tapped into your inner child, which helps you be free and feel free. But at the same time, you on your grown woman shit. Yes. <laughs> yes. I'm loving it. And he's loving it. <laughs> yes. Clarify the star here with this high priestess. We got love message. Baby. Whoever this Queen of Swords is, she's like keeping tabs on what this masculine is doing. Wow. Yeah, he got to, uh, he has to clear something out with someone that he's in a connection with right now. And that might not even be together. They just, they just might be connected some, somehow, which makes him like need to, it's like, they might not even be like married or anything, but they might be financially connected or something. Or somehow, something is keeping them connected together that's making him want to make sure she's okay. I don't know. How can I put this? Like, I know what I'm trying to say, but I'm trying to see how can I put it so it can make sense. It's like he wants to make her feel okay. But he's regretting this connection. Clarify this love message. He could be doing a lot of drinking. Yeah, we got blocked. Spam, calls, text. <laughs> she could have blocked this mask. She could have blocked you off of this mask on this masculine's phone from contacting you. She could know your social media is here. They she could know that you're in the spotlight as well, somehow. And she see, yeah, like, I'm, I'm telling you about like she is checking this masculine's phone here. Somebody's phone is being checked here to see if someone is contacting another person. It's like, bitch, let this masculine go. Leave him the fuck alone. Ugh. Like, what is wrong with you, motherfuckers? Someone don't want to be with your ass, and you trying to force them to be with you. And that's what I'm saying, bro. I feel like she like blackmailing this masculine or something. Because like, why? It ain't making sense. It's not making sense. Clarify this block here with this love message. It's not making sense to me, Aries. How are y'all connected? <clears throat> we got the Knight of Cups. Clarify this Knight of Cups. We got the Six of Wands and the Emperor with the Ten of Pentacles. I'm telling you, bro, she is keeping a divine masculine away from his Ten of Pentacles. She's blocking this masculine on purpose. With the Lovers and the Chariot right here at the top. Somebody's supposed to be in a brief class connection with you. If you're Aries masculine, you know who, who you were supposed to be in a connection with. It's like your intuition has told you this, that you've met someone that you was meant to be with. This could be someone that you was with in a past life here. But this is a this is a soul, a soul connection here. 
a deep soul connection. The way these damn cars is coming out. Yeah, but she knows this is going to be one successful relationship here. I feel like she's blackmailing this masculine. I really do. She's blackmailing him. Let me see something here. Let me just... I wasn't going to pull from this deck. But I'm only going to pull from it to get some for this Queen of Swords. Because that's who the fuck this is. Bitch trying to blackmail this fucking masculine and shit. And masculine, I feel like if she is trying to blackmail you, whatever you got going on with this, uh, this feminine, you need to get out of that shit. I don't give a damn if you even losing something. Whatever you lose dealing with her, well, fuck it, lose it. Who cares? You can get it back. You can get the money back. You can get the house back. You can get the car back. Like, you got a fucking divine, a boss-ass divine feminine out here that's waiting on you. Like, <laughs> what the fuck? Crap out this other queen of swords. We got Val. Ooh, give me one more for that. And we got Bully. She is bullying somebody's connection here. This bitch knows exactly what the fuck she doing, you old ugly ass hoe. You stupid ass bitch. You know what the fuck you doing. I just don't like it. I don't care. I'm going to calm down, spirit. Spirit telling me don't do that. Give me one more for this Queen of Swords. <clears throat> we got accident. I'm saying, but she know what she's doing. She just, ugh, let me get out of her energy. Fuck it. Just fuck it. Terrify the sun here with the fool. Because the energy was so good. Just fuck it. We got wish. Oh my goodness. One wish, one wish, one wish. Now tell me it's the only way I can get you right back here. And I'll let shut you not go. Then I can have you for sure. Then you'll be loving me, holding me, kissing me. So girl, don't tell me what I'm feeling is make believe. <laughs> I swear if I lose a second chance with you, I would know what to do. Think I ain't a bother with a genie in it. Here's my wish. <laughs> you gonna get this fucking divine mask, man. Fuck that. I don't know how it's gonna happen, when it's gonna happen, but you gonna get this person. I don't give a fuck. This bitch can do whatever the fuck she wanna do. Yeah, he's gonna heal through this, and you're gonna come in contact with this mask, I feel like he's a, such a fucking sweetheart. There's something about him. That's like, it is, I'm already getting it out here. But let me see here. What about this divine masculine am I picking up on spiritually? I feel like it's something so divine about him. Very different. Wow. A lot of damn cards just came out. We got the three of cups, the six of swords, the hermit here with the nine of cups. I feel like deep down inside, he knows... There's something special about him with the hermit here. Of the three of cups, this three of cups is talking about this uh this reckless toxic lifestyle here. This drinking with his friends and buddies and shit. That's what the three of cups is talking about. If you just uh if you uh Aries masculine here, that's exactly what they're speaking about. I feel like you've been connected to some people here from since like childhood or something. Let's talk about the people that you've been connected to for a long time. Let me clarify each of these cards because I just like, what's this three of cups here for this divine masculine? I just spit the deck on the emperor. Oh, we got the moon. Yeah. The things that you do in secret here. I feel like you're connected to some like, some, like friends here that you've always been connected to that like aid in you being very low vibrational. You got to move the fuck away from these masculines for real. You got to let some of your friends go. Because they aiding in your toxic lifestyle here. They're not gonna be they're not gonna be no help on your uh journey. And you're being told to move forward here. You're doing a lot of soul searching here. And again, this nine of cups talks about wish fulfillment. You're making a lot of you you like you're speaking to God here. You're speaking to God. Clarify the six of swords, and I feel like God heard you and sent you this divine feminine. You ready to change. Yeah, we got the magician. You are making a wish to God here, and God is hearing you and sending you this divine feminine to grant your wish that you have to go through this dark night of the soul 
And basically with this dark night of the soul, it's like speaking about you like not being afraid to move away from people that you don't need to be around. That's family, friends, a job that you don't need to be at possibly. If you know that you're meant to do something creative, stop, tap into it. It's time for you to tap into who you truly are on a soul level. What's the hermit here? You got to face your fears, Divine Masculine. We got the Nine of Wands. And if you're Divine Feminine here, Aries, then your Divine Masculine is like, they're trying to face some fears here. They need to. Because you are very, like, you, you're that person. Yeah, someone's on guard here. Someone's protecting their intuition with this Hermit and the Nine of Wands. With the seven of cups at the bottom of the deck, like you're protecting something that you know, and it's a connection. I feel like you're protecting this divine feminine from afar. So if you're a, a, a Aries feminine, this masculine is really protecting you from afar here. And spiritually, he he knows something. He might he probably can't really put his fingers on it too much, and he probably not really that spiritual. But deep down inside, on his soul level, in his heart, he knows something here is very faded, and he's protecting you. What's the nine of cups here? We got the hang one. Yeah, see, he's seeing something differently now. With the nine of swords and the king of swords, king of cups. Yeah, the queen of swords are already out here. We got the nine of swords here with the king of swords. So he's in his king of swords energy right now dealing with this queen of swords. And he's in his head about this connection. This is someone that he's like, I feel like this Queen of Swords is someone that he was with before he met you, Divine Feminine. And he's been through a lot of transformations with this person. But they know that their relationship is over with now. It's time to move on. That she's not ready to move on. It's like they vowed to be with each other for eternity here or some shit. It's time to let this shit go. For real. Y'all are not meant to be together. Yeah. What's this magician energy here? I'm going to clarify this magician right quick, Aries. And I'm going to close this out for y'all. Clarify this magician. <clears throat> we got love, child. Wow. What's this love, child, here with the magician? She could, they could have had a baby together. This could be like that baby mom or something. We got romance with Shady. Ooh, no. Okay, the love child. Someone, someone, ooh, this, this feminine cheated on this masculine and had a child on him. They was wearing a mask. They, they did some shady shit behind their back. And they had a baby here with someone else. They probably wouldn't even know this. This person is caring for a child that's not theirs. And, like, it's out if you're watching this reading and it's resonating. Whether you're Aries, masculine, or feminine, it's out now. I'm letting it be known. Someone had a love child on you. Or someone they've been cheating on you with. You probably know this uh, feminine been cheating on you. Probably been having some type of inclination here. My phone just runs, so that's a uh, confirmation. <laughs> but, yeah, Aries, I'm going to go ahead and close this reading out for you guys. Okay. What's this? Okay. You could be getting ready to receive some type of message about something. Some type of message could be coming through for you. I don't know. I'm just I'm picking it up as I'm looking at my phone. But let me get one more to close this out for you, Aries. I don't know why I just want to get one more to close it out for you. So, let's call this out, Aries. I think love messages already came out here. We got getting readings. Yeah, you about to receive some type of message here. Possibly through a reading. Could be this reading. Love messages didn't come out, but I thought I'd seen it. Could I find this getting readings? Someone could be getting readings here. Could be you, Aries, masculine, feminine. Someone else is getting readings on you. Someone could be getting readings about your person. We got feelings. Someone is give, is going to a reader to see how someone feels about somebody. You could be watching, like, like I said, somebody is a tarot reader. 
someone could be watching your readings here to see like what comes up in their in their sign or something to see how you feel about them. Or someone could be going to a reader to get readings on you guys' connection to see how you feel about them. Or this uh, Queen of Swords here could be getting readings here to see how this masculine feels about you. You know, take it as it resonates. But someone's about to receive some type of message here through a reading about how someone really feels about somebody. What's this uh, getting readings here with his feelings? Like, I said, I'm going to pull this shit out and I'm still going. <laughs> this is beautiful. Like, I liked it. We got the fucking emperor. Baby, this motherfucking emperor is going towards his person. I'm telling you. It ain't nothing that this person can do. Period. There's nothing she can do. Yeah, this queen of swords is getting readings. Or she could be watching. Like I said, if this, this if this divine feminine that this masculine wants to go towards is a reader, she's watching this person's readings. She knows this divine masculine is coming towards this, uh, this feminine. And there's nothing that you can do. Like, just stop. 35, 5, 55 on the clock. You could be seeing those numbers or something. Clarify this emperor. Like, that this masculine be with his person. The more you try to stop this connection, the more you gonna you you gonna receive karma. Look, we got the fucking demon card. She is really trying to attach herself to this masculine here. I don't know there's a reason why I kept going. Look at that confirmation, and my phone just vibrated. She is really trying to attach herself to this. She probably trying to attach some type of spirit to him too. I put a spirit coming over me right now. I don't like that shit. Please, please, my energy right now, divine. Please put your love and protection over me. Now, you want shady-ass bitch for real. Clarify this emperor here with this demon card. She's trying to attach something to this master or attach herself to them, to him. We got the nine of swords. Wow. This bitch is shady, bro. Clarify this demon card. Yeah, divine, divine master, you got to get away from this person. Like I said, I don't care how you do it. You got jackass, but you something you feeling like a clown because you let yourself get get caught up with this woman. I don't know how y'all uh, how y'all connected together, but you got a motherfucking I don't know. I don't know. I get it. He just has to work this shit out. I'm a shit pissing me off. <laughs> it's pissing me off. <laughs> Yo. She can even be going like she could be getting or going to a reader with this divine masculine, trying to make it seem like you're not the person he meant to be with, trying to make you seem distorted, like she's the real divine feminine. Bitch, please get the fuck out of here. <laughs> he feels so stupid though. He does. Like damn, I done, I fell in love with a fucking Jezebel, a fucking demon, and she taking his ass through it. She's trying to blackmail him or something, bro. Like, I don't like that shit. I don't like it. Give me one more for this demon card. I don't like it. Like, bitch, take your ugly ass on somewhere, ho. We got fed up with living in the moment. Yeah. He was living, he was just living in the moment when he uh came in contact with this uh this feminine here. Just living his life. And now he just, like, he's been bombarded with a whole bunch of shit here. All the shit that he's done from living in the moment. All the shit that's been attached to him. Cut about this demon card. And I'm going to go and close this shit out. I'm going to close it out, okay? I think two cards just came out. We got GIF. No, that bully bin came out. So we got GIF here. Yeah, this divine feminine made it seem like she was a gift here. Like, she can really give this masculine something that he's missing. That's what I'm saying, bro. He he met this woman during a, while he was very low vibrational in this toxic lifestyle here. And she came in like she was the perfect gift for him. And he fucking fell for it. And now he feeling like a jackass. You should be feeling like a jackass. You should be feeling like a fucking jackass. But you can get your jackass the fuck out of this shit. I don't care what the fuck she's doing to you. You better man the fuck up and fucking heal and get your ass some motherfucking get right. Get the fuck right, bro. For real. You're going to lose out on a very powerful connection here. 
You don't realize how deep this shit is. You're going to fucking lose out. You better get your fucking shit together. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Man the fuck up. I just want to snap on your ass right now. <laughs> I just want to fucking snap on you, bruh. For real. Because this is some beautiful energy that's coming out here for uh for this reading. And someone is fucking it up because... They, 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 like, like he's drowning in self pity right now. Like, stop feeling like a fucking, stop pitying yourself. Stop, um, woe is me type of energy. Who the fuck cares? Everybody go through shit. Everybody do dumb shit. Move the fuck on. Let this bitch go. You are letting this bitch hold you back. You letting her keep you down. I, I feel like it's faded, you know, it's faded. Because I feel like you're not innocent. You have done some things here that, you know, that you're probably not proud of, that you probably should have never fucking done. And you probably were sparing some type of... She could possibly be your karma here. But still, at the end of the day, even if, even if you're receiving karma, it is up to you to realize that you're receiving karma and to, like, really be serious about changing and elevating yourself. You have to... You really have to be serious about this. That because you're receiving karma don't mean just let yourself sit in it. You're receiving this karma for a reason. Like, you're getting beat the fuck up spiritually through a, through this feminine for a reason. It's not for you to sit in it. It's for you to learn your fucking lesson and move the fuck on. Man the fuck up. Like I said, I don't give a fuck who you got to lose. What's, what's going to happen? I don't care about none of that. Or you can lose out on this motherfucking feminine and let her go to somebody else. I'm just saying, it's up to you, divine uh, masculine. Like I said, if you're Aries feminine, like he can either get his, hurry up and get his shit together, or he's just gonna lose out. Like, period. I mean, at this point in time, like you ain't worried about being with nobody anyway. You focused on your career. You're securing who you are. You don't need someone to be in your life to uh, to know who you are. To feel good about yourself, you don't. So. As you keep leveling up, you're going to find someone here. And if it ain't this masculine, it's going to be another divine masculine. And I'm going to go and close the fucking reading out on that, okay? So, I hope y'all got something from this Aries. Get your fucking shit together, okay? <laughs> and I'll see you in the next video. I shay.